What is going on, Governor? It's just cool here, and today we're gonna show you how you could use two devices, one for Android, one for iOS, to be playing two of your cities from the same account at the exact same time. And we're gonna show you how to switch from iOS to Android or Android to iOS. All right, my friends, in the last week or two, a new feature was added to the game that let you lets you switch your account from iOS to Android or Android to iOS. This has been hugely requested by the community for obvious reasons, and it is here. We're going to show you how to do that, and one of the biggest benefits of being able to transfer your accounts is that you can actually play on two different cities from the same account at the same time. As long as you've got one iOS device and one Android device. Now, if you like Rise of Kingdoms videos where we help you unlock these sorts of tips and tricks, you should like and subscribe. We make daily videos about Rise of Kingdoms and we are a sponsored content creator. Let's get right into it. In order to connect your account to both iOS and Android, you do something very simple. You go into your character profile in the upper left, then you tap on settings from there. You tap on account. What you want to do there is then click link. Now link is how you're going to connect. Use Facebook, follow the prompts that Facebook provides for authentication, and boom, your account is now linked to Facebook. In order to access that account on a new device, when you open up or install Rise of Kingdoms on that new device, when you switch accounts, you're going to have the option to switch to a linked account. And you just tap on Facebook. It is incredibly simple to swap. And we set that up. Now I can show you, like, hey, like, you know, I'm on Chiskool Mini over here, which looks a little funny on my phone because, uh, you know, I got a green screen going on. I'm on Chiskool Mini over here. And I'm on Chiss School over here, but I'm going to just teleport in, put them right next to each other, and you can see this happening in real time. And we'll talk, by the way, about the huge advantages and things you can go and do by virtue of being able to play both of these accounts at the same time with two devices. Okay, so we have just teleported into the Lost Kingdom with Chiskool Mini. You don't see that yet because, well, I'm located somewhere else. But I'm going to teleport Chiskool Mini right next to my main so you can see this happening here. You see that my name is in green here. This is the main account that I'm logged in on on my iPad. And I'll use a territorial teleport on my other device over here, dropping in right next door literally right on top of it, bada, boom. Now, there's a bunch of cool things that you can go and do by virtue of having two accounts in the same place at the same time. Um, one would be, for instance, farming barbs or barbarian forts, right? So I could send my marches out over here and I'll have to get my presets set up on this device so that these marches are not gonna make a lot of sense, right? But I can get some marches over here. I don't know why it picks an individual Freddy to be one of the leads of one of my marches, but whatever, right? And I can have my marches on Chiss School. Oh, all my marches are out. But like, I can hunt barbs, okay, at the same time with both accounts. That's pretty cool, but it gets better, right? Like when we were doing stage three of the Eve of the Crusade events, one of the things that was very important was that we were using our mini and our main to join rallies to get more points for the kingdom. Because our minis got infinite action points, and, well, we actually wanted some of those rewards. Well, you know, it's a whole heck of a lot easier to do with two devices. <laughs> it's so much easier instead of using this menu to constantly be swapping back and forth between characters. It's so much easier to watch everything happening, to not have to wait for load screens. I mean... This is absolutely fantastic for me. Now, my mini happens to live in the, you know, original Kingdom 75, specifically for gemming kingdom buffs. 
So I can't take quite as much advantage of this as I would like right now because we're doing daily kingdom buffs and I'd be using a ton of teleports to try to do that. However, I would definitely recommend using, if you have them, even just an old device of the other type so that, you know, if your main device is an Android device and you've got an old iPad lying around or your main device is an iPhone and you know, you've got an old Android tablet lying around that, or, or even, heck, you could use probably something like BlueStacks, <laughs> which is a little more complicated to set up and maybe we could make a video about that, uh, but you could use a tool like BlueStacks, which lets you play on an Android device through your computer in order to be playing at the same time on iOS and Android. Uh, all in all, I think this is pretty exciting uh, that you can do this. And, you know, it gives me a lot more purpose with what I can do with my mini. I can be re reinforcing a structure, solo reinforcing a flag um, with my mini and my main, sending, you know, the captains from my main into the structure and the T4 from my mini to go tie. I don't know. Seems like a pretty solid choice to me. Uh, well, now that I've teleported my mini into the Lost Kingdom, I'm going to have to send a whole bunch of resources, right? Which, like, you can see me sending gold, right? Like, and that happens from here where, like, I don't know. How, how much do you need to see this to believe it? That, like, I'm over here, I hit assist, I select the resources... And then there they go. <laughs> oh boy. This is exciting. Um, do I love the idea of players like playing tons of accounts all at the same time? No. But do I like the idea that actually like for one iOS and one Android, I now can be controlling like two accounts, which you can have two accounts in the same kingdom without having without having to like create lots of accounts. I don't know. I guess if someone wants to manage a zillion accounts and like have some sort of harness with like, you know, iPhone, 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 and tablet, 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 I, it just seems insane to me. Um, but one farm and one main seems pretty reasonable. Now it's a whole heck of a lot easier to do. Um, and I would 10 out of 10 recommend that you create a world in which you can do this. Okay, so I do want to touch on one other thing, which is just very briefly around, like, fairness. Is it fair to have multiple accounts? And the reality is that people already had multiple accounts, and you could have, if you're really serious about it, created multiple separate accounts and had your different farms on different accounts instead of having them all share an account. That would make it really a pain in the butt to switch between your main and your farm because uh, you'd have to do something on your device. Like, you know, if you're using um, iOS, you'd have to, you know, switch your Game Center account in order to switch what account is being used for Rise of Kingdoms. I don't even know how that works. I haven't messed with it. Like, this is just adding a convenience factor that really all of the more casual players, uh, which I'm included in that bucket, by the way. Like, I don't... I don't have my mini on a separate account because you could have done the exact same thing before this update. Um, you just couldn't have had them in the same account and most of us do and like it's just so much more convenient that way. So I think this is totally fine. It's not really different than what you could have done before but adds a huge amount of convenience and now you can switch your account from iOS to Android or Android to iOS which is very helpful. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. It's a little bit shorter. Um, honestly, I would show more of the linking process, but it's incredibly straightforward. The linking to Facebook is literally the same sort of linking you go through for any app that you're connecting to Facebook. It's very straightforward. Um, and, you know, if you have any challenges with that, leave a message down in the comments and someone uh, will certainly address that and I'll peek at those as well to see if I can help out. Does this change the way that you'll be playing the game? Uh, for me, I mean, <laughs> I gotta be charging an Android device and have that hanging out near me all the time so I can sit on the couch and I don't have to switch between my accounts so much better. 
Uh, if you found this helpful, please do like and subscribe. We've got more tips coming that will piggyback right off of this one. And until next time, you have fun smashing the kingdom.